So I got a request in one of these uh, videos, the ReactJS image slider video on how to make this thing uh, responsive. So this is a response video to that. So I'm going to show you guys two different ways of making this guy responsive. The first is I wouldn't use it in mobile development. And I'll show you why. So let's just say this image takes up 40% of the, uh, the screen. No matter how small or how large the window gets, it always maintains that scaling, always 45 or 40%, whatever I just said. Now, if this was mobile development, we wouldn't want to do this because you'd have a very small picture. So the second way we're going to make this responsive is you get back up to a uh, full screen. Like the first way, we maintain that 40%, but when we hit a certain threshold, in, case, in this case, the threshold is 768 pixels, if we dip below that into like the mobile dimension range, we restructure the layout so the image goes full screen in terms of width like that. So this is what I'd use normally if I was doing a project for a customer or just for myself, where we'd have the image or the carousel behaving like this when we're in tablet or desktop mode. And if we dip below a certain threshold into mobile dimensions, we restructure how the thing's laid out full screen like that. And of course, the, uh, the functionality stays true, so it's still infinitely scrollable. We stop on this picture, we maximize, we, we're still in that picture. Anyways, I forgot your name, forgive me, but I hope this answers your, uh, your question. Let's begin. So let's start off by modifying some of the, uh, the styles for the card and the, uh, the horizontal JS. I'm just going to clean up some stuff from the, uh, the last video. So we don't need this. We don't need the font size, color white. The width we're going to get from the parent component, horizontal carousel, so we don't need this width here. And we need to, something I forgot to add in the, in the last video, we need to center the image in its container. So we're just going to do a position. We'll say relative. We'll say top of 50%. Same thing with a left. And then we'll do a transform transform with a translate of negative 50 and negative 50 and then we're getting the width from the parent so let's destructure this guy dot 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 and we need the width that comes from the parent props we're going to call it the let's call it the resize width and that's going to be in uh, viewpoint width so it's going to be a percentage so we'll just do this right here Let's do an A, there we go. Viewpoint, or yeah, viewpoint width, viewport width, excuse me. There we go, that looks good. Height, height should be auto. So we maintain the aspect ratio, A-U-T-O. All right, so that looks good. Let's go to the horizontal carousel. Let's change some uh, styles here. Position absolute, viewport top, width is going to be Let's do 700 pixels. That's the width of one image. Actually, we don't really need it because we're going to define it right off the bat. So we omit the width, and the height is, of course, auto to maintain the aspect ratio. We don't need the background color. Overflow, we'll turn it off for now. We're going to turn it back on later. Card container flex, we need to add another property here. Let's call it the, uh, the media. So in CSS, you can do things like uh, at media, uh, only screen, and min width stuff like that you can't do it in line like this unless we attach to css file but that kind of be uh besides the uh breaking the paradigm of a uh, uh, react js which is you want to keep everything compartmentalized within itself within its component if we did a separate css file they'd have to download or you'd have to separately add css files plus these styles there so it's gonna keep it all in one place so i'm gonna say media that's gonna act like our at media thing so max image size and then we'll do the uh, the mobile responsive thing. Max image size, we'll do 700 for now. So this is where you're gonna tweak the value for the whole uh, the whole component. So it's 700, we got the position, top left, transform, height, auto, display. All right, looks good. So let's go up here and we need a reference to the uh, to the viewport so we can manipulate it. So just like we did with the, uh, the card container, we need a reference here. So ref equal, same thing, ref underscore ID, We'll call it this.view underscore port is equal to that ref ID. And then we need to pass in the resize width here. So we'll just say, can I do this? How many lines can I go down? Three. All right. We'll say resize underscore width is equal to, and we're going to keep it in the state. So we'll just say this.state dot current, current ENT image width in or as a percentage. There we go. 
close that off, close that off, close that off. I'll copy this line here, paste, format. All right, so it looks good. We have a reference to the viewport. We're passing in the width. Let's go to find that in the state. So current image width as percentage up here. Current image width as percentage, and we'll start it at zero. All right, so when we first load this component, before we even mount it, so component will mount, we need to calculate what percentage of the window in terms of width, the 700 pixels or whatever uh, value you put here, what percentage of the width of the screen that is. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna say const, and I'm just gonna put image width as percentage. And we're just gonna say that's gonna be equal to styles.media.max image size, so that's 700, divided by the total width of the screen, the available width of the screen, so it's window.screen.avail width. And that gives us a decimal, and we want the percentage, so times 100. Then we're gonna set the state, set state, and we're gonna override the current image with this one here. All right, so before we even mount, we now know the, which, basically which VW value to give this card so they can display properly. Let's see what we got. All right, so that's good. We have the 700 pixel here. Let's change that to no, 200, see if it's working properly. Save, yeah, 200. All right, so we'll go back to 700. All right, good. Okay, so we have that. Now when we do mount, we need to fix or update the viewport. We didn't add a width here because we're dynamically calculating it. So we'll do that here. Yeah, we'll do it here. We'll say this dot viewport dot style dot width is equal to, and it's gonna be a VW or percentage of. So we're just gonna say this dot state dot current image width as percentage, and that's gonna be a VW. Now we have to change the, uh, this 350 is hard coded. So I like to translate in pixels. You can translate in percentages. I just like to translate in pixels. So we need to capture the, the value in, uh, in pixels of an image width or cards width. So I'm just gonna say const, say image width in pixels. And we'll say, what would it be? It would be this dot card container dot children. We'll do zero dot style dot width. And we're just gonna translate by that now. So it's not hard coded now. It's now it's uh, dynamic. Save, and we need to do this, uh, this 350 got changed to be dynamic. We need to change these guys as well, these 350s. So we need to recalculate this for the next and the previous button. So I can just copy this code right here. Copy that, paste that here. Copy that, paste that here. And anywhere we see 350, we say image width in pixels. Image width in pixels, there we go. Down here as well width and pixels and here as well All right, do some formatting save and so let's see what we got let's say next next it buttons not working why is that where are we state current image percentage VW works pixels containers style there we go this is not style dot width it is dot what does it get bounding there we go dot width save go back there we go, that looks better. Let's go next. And it's still not working, why is that? Oh yes, so this is not style that width either. These two lines that I copied, so delete that. We'll delete this, and we'll copy this line here. Paste that here and here. Here, here, save, let's go back. Let's go next. There we go, next, 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 perfect. Previous. Let's try resizing the window. Actually, let's turn off the, uh, or turn on the overflow hidden. All right, let's try resizing the window. Why oh, it resize like that? 700 height auto. Uh, the image height's not 100%. That should be auto as well. Okay, let's resize the window. Should maintain the, uh, the size of the slider. So no matter where we go, we still have the same width. We just have to deal with the alignment issues. So we have to watch for the uh, resizing. So we're going to add a, an event listener for that. Let's go to the component did mount. Right up here. Right here. Let's add it right here. 
So component, not component, but let's do a window that add event listener. Look for a resize. We don't need the argument of the parameter. Arrow function. And all we're going to do is we're going to translate like this. These two guys. We're going to translate in pixels to the card they were on. So that would be this dot state dot current card. Do we have that? Times image width in pixels. And we need the image width in pixels calculated on the fly. So we can just copy that line again. All right, let's see what we got. Save, go back. Let's go next. Next, 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 next. Perfect. Let's uh, resize the window and scroll. There we go. So that's the first way of making this thing uh, responsive. Let's go next. Let's see if it maintains this card when we maximize. Same card. All right, good. Yeah, so that's the first way of making this res uh, responsive. So to upgrade this or just change it to the uh, the mobile responsiveness, we just need to add a few lines. So we need a another media variable down here. And this is going to be the minimum width that we need to satisfy the threshold before we uh, turn into mobile uh, layouts. So we're just going to say min width. Anything less than, we'll say, 768, then we'll make the image full screen in terms of its width. And so we need to do a different calculation up here. So image width as a percentage. We need to check if they're less than 768. So we're going to do a ternary uh, operator. So window.inner width. If that's less than our styles.media dot what I say was min width. Then we'll do 100% of the viewport. Else we just keep it at the uh, whatever 700 pixels of the uh, the width is. So that's good there. That's good there. All this is good. We just need to do when we listen for the resize. We need to recalculate the viewport. So let me copy this guy here. And the viewport is in percentages, so we need to recalculate that percentage. So we can copy this, put that here, and I'll put the viewport stuff down here. This is proper spacing. So viewport would be not this dot state. It'll just be the image width as a percentage. Okay. We have this, and then we just need to recalculate, just like we recalculated the viewport, we need to recalculate every image's uh, width. So we'll do a for loop for that. For let i, zero, i is less than this dot card container dot children dot length i plus plus. And we'll just do this dot card container dot children of i dot style dot width. And it's measured in percentages. So it's just going to be the viewport stuff. VW. And that will be the image width as a percentage. So let's save. And so let's see what we got. Let's uh, resize the window. And what is that? Back up. So the translating's off. Why is that? Let's go back. Maximized. What are we doing wrong here? Which percentage pixels? What are we capturing this? And we're doing this loop that gives them all the percentages. Okay, so uh, what we're doing right now, what we're doing wrong is that this image width as a percentage, this is of the old value. So it's not translating or it's not taking this. This is the old value here. We need to take this after we've already given it these, uh, these new values. So let me just restructure this like this. And I'll just explain it after that. Let's do const. We'll do it right here. Put it there, just the for loop needs to go here then. All right, so what we're doing is we're calculating the new image width as a percentage. We're applying it to the image. We're uh, calculating the image width in pixels. We can put that down here since we're using this. And then we're moving the, uh, changing all the, uh, the cards widths. We're changing the viewport width as a percentage. And then we're capturing the image width in pixels. If we did this guy before this guy, and this guy right here would be the old value. So we just need to run the for loop before this guy right here. So let's save. Let's go back and see if we fixed it. Let's uh, minimize the window. Not minimize, but uh, restore down. There we go. There we go. And let's scroll, or excuse me, resize back up. And when we hit 768, it should flip into that normal mode. There we go. Let's check the functionality. Next. Next, next, next. Let's stop on this picture here. Let's resize back down. Should flip to a full width when we hit these certain thresholds, 768 pixels. There we go. 
and let's see if we can maximize. All right, so there you have it. Two different ways of making this uh, React.js image slider uh, responsive. So leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next one.